Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Indiana. I drove just over 300 miles today, and uh, it was enjoyable. I'm just making the, tr making the trip home. It should take me three days. I'm thinking tomorrow I'll make it to probably Western New York, and I would say Tuesday I'll do New York and Massachusetts, which will be a whole day. So I just pulled over to have my dinner. Actually, I pulled over for the night. <laughs> having my dinner, calling it a night. But I'm having um, rutabaga, white sweet potato, uh, some spaghetti squash, and some chicken with some avocado oil. Salt and pepper. Doesn't look delish. Um, yesterday at my daughter's, we um, I cooked a rutabaga. I cooked a whole spaghetti squash. I cooked all this stuff, and we had a dinner. We had a salmon dinner. You know, um, we had smoked paprika salmon, pan seared salmon. It was delish, and we just enjoyed our a nice dinner together. And then um, some of the leftover veggies I took with me through a meal together for tonight. And that's how it works. I made a salad for lunch. I, I bought a ton of stuff to make salads for the next few days. This is the only cooked veggies I'll have. Um, although my electric's doing really well. Like I have about 52%. 52% uh, full. I drove all day today, uh, spitting rain, clouds, no sun. So shut the solar panels right down and I did it all with the car, the car battery. It's just, it's working good. I worked out some kinks with the electric. <laughs> so, I got my hair cut. Yep. Yeah. I decided to go for the buzz. Go for the buzz again. It's nice and easy. Easy peasy. Easy breezy. I have some tweaks to do to the van when I get home. <clears throat> I'll do a complete tour of, oh, speaking of complete tour, my daughter and I never did that van tour. <laughs> we just never did it. My son and I will do it when I get home. I wanna do a 100% 100 complete van tour to have a, an official van tour video because I have a whole pile of videos with updates that show the whole process, but just to have one video of the, of the final process. I'll do that when we get home. Um, I'll, I'll also do an update video on um, all the little things that I wanna tweak when I, uh, before my next road trip. So I've been on the road all morning. I just pulled over for lunch. I am currently in Ohio and it's Monday at noon. And I uh, slept great in Indiana last night. Um, I had to keep warm last night. Uh, I needed socks and pants and I slept with the sweatshirt on under my comforter. And it was just, oh, to be, like that teeny bit chilled and you just all snugged up. Oh God, it felt so good. It felt so good, especially after all that driving all day. And um, I would much rather uh, deal with uh, keeping warm when it's cool than trying to keep cool when it's hot. I'm not, uh, I'm not, 
I don't like the 90s very much at all. 80s is okay because chances are if it's 80s during the day, chances are it's like 60s at night and 60s is very manageable in the van. So I'm just about to make some lunch and what I did was um, before I left my daughter's, what I did was I did a lot of slicing and dicing. Let's see, I got my arugula, I got my baby romaine, I got my, my carrots, uh, let me grab an avocado, perfect, and I got my cucumber, And I got my nori sheets. And I got this bag. So what I did was, what I did was, before I left my daughter's, I put all this, I did a lot of slicing and dicing to make things a little bit easier. So this is all um, diced up uh, green onions. And then I, I washed and um, put all my radishes in here. I didn't dice those up. I'll dice those as I go along. Um, I diced up some celery, some celery for salads. And I diced up some Vidalia onion. And then I diced up, I used the, I used the arugula container. I diced up some, uh, purple cabbage all shredded yum so this will make it a little bit easier putting salads together so everything over here is on my salad bar <laughs> I love it it's working out great the counter space in here is amazing so I'm just gonna grab my scale stop making my stop making my stop making my salad and I'll eat it right around noon, which is a little ways away, but it's, I'm gonna stop making it now and um, just take a little rest from the road because I've been driving for about four hours. And I am about 50 miles away from Cleveland and um, I'll enjoy uh, driving by Lake Erie again because I always, I always get a hit out of that because it's just, I still got my slippers on. <laughs> I went into a restroom in the in the rest area. I just kept my slippers on. I said, I'm gonna just keep my slippers on all day. And it feels really good. So today, I expect to make it into New York. Right when I get into New York, I'm close to like the Buffalo area. And that, that puts me about five or six hours from home. So that will be for tomorrow. But if I get to Buffalo and I'm up for another hour, whatever I do, whatever I, get behind me tonight I have less of that tomorrow because I wouldn't mind getting home at like three o'clock in the afternoon that would be like perfect because then I have time to you know unpack some of the things in the van and um, and uh, get myself all situated figure out groceries what do I need to uh, I might need to stop at the grocery store so um, it's you know it's really exciting to go on road trips and it's exciting to be heading back home. Uh, it's just, it's, a, it's just all good. You know, it's all good. Um, I'm not like feeling really antsy to get home, but I'm looking forward to getting home. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, this van, this build really worked out well. There are some tweaks I need to make. Um, and I will make a video on that, um, of my assessment of all the things that just need adjustments or uh, eliminations um, yeah so um, I'm gonna go make my salad and enjoy my salad and I'll see you some more salad is made delish I look forward to having this in about 20 minutes. So there's my salad and my lunch supplements. I'll be good to go.